Is it a crime to watch porn? And is it a crime if your computer, tablet, memory card, USB sticks, external hard drives and mobile phones are found to have downloaded or accessed pornographic photos or videos? Let me make 10 points. Point one, generally it is not an offence to watch and be in possession of non-extreme adult pornography. Point two, however, if you watch lawful pornographic images at work or at school, this would be a disciplinary matter brought against you based on accessing inappropriate material contrary to work or school-based behaviour rules. Point three, it would be an offence under the Indecent Displays Control Act of 1981 if any indecent matter is publicly displayed. The person making the display and any person causing or permitting the display to be made shall be guilty of an offence. This would potentially include displaying non-extreme adult pornography. There are potential defences of watching classified films and other defences mentioned later. Point four, if a person was in possession of extreme pornographic images, this would be a criminal offence as per section 63 of the Criminal Justice and Immigration Act 2008. An extreme pornographic image is an image which meets four criteria. It is one, pornographic, of such a nature that it must reasonably be assumed to have been produced solely or principally for the purpose of sexual arousal. And two, grossly offensive disgusting or otherwise of an obscene character and three portrays in an explicit and realistic way any of the following an act which threatens a person's life or an act which results or is likely to result in serious injury to a person's anus breast or genitals or an act which involves sexual interference with a human corpse necrophilia or person performing an act of intercourse or oral sex with an animal whether dead or alive bestiality or an act which involves the non-consensual penetration of a person's vagina, anus or mouth by another with the other person's penis or part of the other person's body or anything else. And for a, pers a reasonable person looking at the image would think that the persons or animals were real. Point five, it is also an offence if you distribute extreme porn under the Obscene Publications Act, including via social media platforms. Point six, there are also separate and very serious offences of making and possessing indecent images of children. Point seven, the types of activity potentially covered if a person specifically views and is in possession of unlawful images include opening an attachment to an email containing an unlawful image, downloading an unlawful image from a website onto a computer screen, storing an unlawful image in a directory on a computer file, accessing a pornographic website in which unlawful images appear by way of an automatic pop-up mechanism. Point eight, there are three general defences to being in possession of unlawful extreme pornographic images. A, you had a legitimate reason for having the unlawful image, e.g. for work reasons like you're a police officer. Or B, you had not seen the image and did not know or suspect it to be illegal if it was sent to you. And C, you had being sent the unlawful image unsolicited and you did not keep it for an unreasonable time. Point nine, defences mentioned do carry custodial sentences. Point ten, seek specialist legal advice for the case you're involved in. And if you're in a position of authority, provide safeguarding advice. Follow and subscribe.